into a beautiful jungle i'm sharon i'm going to i just finished pulling all of the onion the last bit of the onions i don't know why i always forget to bring my mic out because when i turn away you can't hear me okay so i just finished pulling the rest of the onions sweet onions and red onions let me bring that to you right here you want to hold them baby <laughs> so, so i think i took too long because uh -huh. so i believe i'm gonna have to do some research but i think i'm gonna have to use this up pretty quickly i'm gonna let my model <laughs> show you <laughs> yeah i'm gonna um because they started flowering and going to seed so going to have to use that. I don't think it's going to store that well. And then it started splitting. One of them was splitting right here at the bottom. I left it in too long. <coughs> Excuse me. Put it over there. So what I'm going to do is pull the rest of my garlic from this bed here. That bed, that bed. I just pulled one of those is the um, one of those are the, the elephant garlic. The last elephant garlic that was in the bed. So Bear, are you going to help mommy? Yeah. All right, let's start here. Let's start here. Just give, get a good hold of it and pull. Pull. Oh, it's hot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's making you work. Oh my God. <laughs> So I lost my helper. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> so I have the seven, the granular in here. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my helper due to the ants infestation. <laughs> I'm just gonna sprinkle that there. So I'm on my own. I'm on my own, basically. I am on my own. <laughs> Smells so good. Smells so good. But look at this one. Look at the size of this garlic. That's beautiful. They're all beautiful. Because honestly, what is not to be grateful for? What is not what is there not to be grateful for? I took one clove, stuck it in the ground, and I got a whole bulb. <laughs> a whole head of garlic back. What is not to be grateful? Go back. Let them put the ball out. This is the last one. Yeah, you do that side. Take your time. I don't want it to break at the bottom. Dirt on because we have to let it dry with the dirt on. I mean, you can knock some of the dirt off, but I'm gonna do that. Whoa, look at the baby one! 
Let me see the baby one. Babies count too. She said, look at the baby ones. Babies count too. <laughs> the baby ones count too. That's a lot of garlic. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? It's not some of this off here. Off here. Look at this This is the last. Alright, you pick that up. Pick that up. Alright, you're gonna hear some stuff. My neighbors are cutting the grass. So, this is how you pull it one, two, three, and then you pull it. And then you pull your garlic. I'm sorry. One, go ahead, baby. One leaf died out. I think this is probably, yeah, one, two, three. And that's when you pull it. Again, one, two, three, and you pull, and you get. No, this is garlic. We pulled the onion already. That's the garlic. Yeah, I think we have all of them. I think we have everything. You have all the garlic and all the onion. Hello. <laughs> she comes after the work is done. <laughs> so got the garlic out got all of the onions out and now I'm going to get the potatoes I'm gonna get the potatoes and something really awesome just happened I just saw my first um well probably they probably came and drank before but this is my first time seeing it a hummingbird because I put hummingbird feeders out because um I was doing research on how to get rid of mosquitoes besides the fact that they come and spray. Um, so it said um, hummingbirds can pick a mosquito out of the air. So I want all the hummingbirds over here because seriously, my daughter's allergic to mosquito bites. So we're going to do the potatoes. We're going to harvest these potatoes. It is time. Not for these. This is the flowering. Once you see the flower, that means that the potato has all the nutrients that it needs. And just give it water. But you don't have to water as much. But these potatoes over here, these potatoes over here, we're going to harvest. Okay, can you see that? We're going to harvest these potatoes. And duh, 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 duh. these potatoes in this tub and that tub we're going to harvest. Probably over that one too. So it's probably one. So we're probably doing um, one, two, three, four. Four harvests today. I have this cardboard box out here. But more than likely, I'm going to put it inside of... I'm going to put it inside of the wheelbarrow. I need to get my microphone. Because I have a tendency to, t to turn around. I talk to you like I'm talking to a friend. But you are my friend. Y'all my friends. Let me get my mind right. Let me get my mind right. <laughs> Let me see. Let me get my mind right. Lovey. Lovey. Oh, never mind. I got it. I got it. I got it, never mind. Okay, so my neighbors are cutting their grass. So that's what you're hearing. Just clip that. You want to clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. I don't know why I bend like that. I really should. 
get the stool my husband bought me. Save my back. This is some old straw that I had last since last year. And then I just put on top of the potato bag. And I explained um, before the reason why I like doing my um, potatoes in bags because I did it in beds before and you never harvest all of them. You're never able to harvest all of them. So they keep coming back. So looky, looky. Looky, look. And this is store-bought potatoes. So this was planted March 26th. Store-bought potatoes. Nice, nice. Oh no, I shouldn't put that wet. Move this. The box. The box. We're going to cure them in there. Oh, and they have red ones in here too. And always harvest when your soil is nice and small ones count too. Always harvest when you're... This is the seed potato. It's the seed potato. Always harvest when your soil is dry. Harvest your Apparently they're still um probably doing cleanup now, my neighbors. Probably doing cleanup now. So we're over here. This is the last one. And so far, this is what we have <laughs> from a store bought. Like we got some really good size here. Some really good sized potatoes here. Right? How awesome is that? What is that? <laughs> Seriously. Lessons. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is where we are right now. Over here. Doing this. <laughs> Feeling excited. I got my, my stool. Because I don't... Yeah, probably not such a good idea for me to lift this up. And my husband is in the house doing some work so and the kids are in the house and I just wanted to be peaceful and get this done you see that potato peeking out at us you see that potato peeking out right there peeking at us like hi Sharon yes hi look you have food to feed your family <laughs> look at that how gorgeous is that? Oh, and also, it's important to, because of, for it to be dry. That, um, to dry, so, so you don't have to worry about the dirt and all of that stuff on there. So, can you find me? Thank you. To get an icy. So, we're going to hurry up and I'm going to take a break and eat my icy. So my little helper came back. So she's going to dig while I have my icy. <laughs> Put her gloves on. And then she said, hello, mommy. I am back. <laughs> okay, get the potato. And these are all store bought potatoes, the ones that we're harvesting is all store bought. That's not a potato. They have to look like this. I found one. You found one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll keep it. Uh -uh, don't put the dirt in there, baby. Oh. That's the potato. Be careful. Mm -mm, don't rub it. Just drop it. Mm -mm. What I'm noticing is that the the ones that we that that froze back, they're not. They didn't get such a big harvest, which is which can be expected. Which can be expected. Uh, it froze. 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me go. We don't want to dig the skin off, baby. Look. We don't want to take the skin off. Gotta be careful. I see the cute baby. Yeah. So cute. It's cute. I'll find the cute. Let me see this. This is. This looks like the seed potato. I don't think I put any thread in here. They're not ready. You see, if the. Mm -hmm. oh, that's for the ants now. Okay, oh, oh, oh. oh, that was good that way. Oh. <laughs> That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. A fire, a fire too. I'm sure there's more down there. I'll stand up for a second, babe. Just a second. I think it's safe. Yeah, all done. I think we're done. We're done here. <clears throat> Eventually, I'm going to turn it over. But if there's anything left in there, oh, okay. yeah, if there's anything left in there, we'll just turn. Sorry, baby. Okay. You see what I'm talking about with the potato flowers to cut them off? Because she came outside and she saw it. She's like, "Oh, mommy, look, it's a pretty flower." No, it's not. No, it's not. It's all this poisonous. So this is our harvest for today. Four containers. These are the ones we got out of the um, the tubs. These the 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 small little small ones, the red ones. That's the ones we got. Some small ones out of the other grow bags too, but the small ones are mostly the ones from that froze over. That had that we had the two freeze. But but look at our harvest. Look at this potato harvest. It looks great. I have to close this box up because the sun is coming out. But this I am blessed. Look how good that is. That's an awesome. We're gonna close this up. The sun is coming out. We do not want to keep that out. Exposed. Do not want to expose that. So that's going to be it for the potato harvest and the garlic harvest. Um, actually, let me take you over there and show you our garlic harvest. All of it and the onions as well.
Yeah, careful. So I put all of our <laughs> all of our garlic and onions in this container. Did you see what I did with my other glove? And we have I put it in the box. It did? Anyway, so uh, this is our garlic. This is just the garlic that we did today and the onions that we did today. Um I gotta check and see if we're gonna get some rain. But the way I water my 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 garden is I have those I don't think you can see it, is the um tripod and it does this and these cannot get wet, they have to be dried. So I think what I'm gonna do either I'm gonna take them inside to dry them out, like I've been doing, <laughs> like I've been doing, or I'm gonna tie a string around them and hang them from the deck. Yeah. But I need to actually check and make sure that there's no rain. No rain is going to come. But look at the bulbs. These are some really good bulbs. Look at the bulbs. These are some really good bulbs. A head of garlic. Look at that. I All I did was put... You see, this one definitely had to come out. One, two, three. And it's, the fourth one was dying down. And then the fifth one was dying down. So this definitely had to come out of the ground. Definitely had to come out the ground. Look at that. Look, you see? One leaf, two leaf, three leaf. Good. Out. Actually, one, two, three, four. Four leaves. Oh, what was I doing? What was I doing? I was too just taking bear bear. We was taking too long. Come on now. We almost lost one, two, three, four. Yeah. Shoot. No, but anyway, we did it. Let's count them down. No, we're going to have to count um, all of them inside. So my helper and I are here. We have our red, we have our red onion and our sweet onions. Like I said in my previous videos, I didn't even get this last year. I got green tops, and I was happy with green tops. <laughs> but I'm, I'm overly blessed to have a bulb right and I, I was able to um to harvest green tops as well earlier when i gave them a haircut um lovey victoria gave my onions a haircut for me and i dehydrated them and made um and i made onion green onion powder green onion powder so i'm just ch shaking some of this dirt off not all of it i'm not taking it off of here I'm just taking it off the roots so if I do bring them inside, I'm not bringing all that dirt and everything in there into the house. 